We all want to invest in banking stocks, but when we see news like people defaulting on banks' loans, loss by banks, etc., we fear from investing. Well, worry not. In today's video, we will discuss specific banking sector ratios which one should check before investing in banking stocks. Hello and welcome back to Finology Ticker. I am Srishti Jain, Chief Product Officer of Ticker and I'll be sharing a series of videos on how to use Ticker to pick great stocks. The problem with traditional stock analysis is it often overlooks industry specific metrics. The bank's main business is depositing money from people and lending it to the ones who need it. To analyze banks, there are a set of custom ratios which tells if the bank is doing its business properly or not. Like, are they getting their money back on time? So, for these things, one should check NPA ratios, CASA ratios, etc. while analyzing any banking stock. But these ratios are not easily available on any stock analysis platform. Form. One has to download company's annual reports and presentations to check them, which is a tedious task. This is why we built Ticker. We are among the first platform in India which provides banking ratios data to make your stock analysis easy. From our previous videos of this playlist, you must have learned how to do a basic stock analysis. But if you are analyzing a banking stock, you have to pay extra attention to few of the ratios. Today, we will discuss three specific banking ratios in detail, which are CASA ratio, net interest margin ratio and NPA ratios. These ratios are like x-ray glasses, revealing a bank's true financial health and profitability. Open ticker.philology.in, search for any banking stock you like. I am opening ICICI Bank because my account is in there. In the company essentials section in the top, we can see CASA percentage in the first line. Now what is CASA ratio? CASA is basically bank's cheap money. It stands for Current Account, Saving Account. It is the ratio of current account and saving account deposits compared to total deposits. One can click on I button also to know the meaning. A higher CASA ratio, ideally above 40%, indicates banks' reliance on cheap, stable deposits, allowing them to offer more competitive loan rates. You can calculate CASA by dividing current account deposit plus saving account deposit by total deposits. But you don't need to worry about memorizing formulas. Ticker provides this ratio readily available for every bank you research. ICIC Bank here has CASA ratio of 45.84% for FY23, which is good. You can also compare CASA values to ICICI with its peers. Go to Peers section, open any stock which you like. Let's see if it's better than HDFC or not. HDFC has a CASA of 44% and ICICI has 45%, which means in terms of CASA ratio, ICICI is better and efficient. Our second ratio is NIM. It stands for Net Interest Margin. Click on Ratio section here and you can find NIM ratios figure for the bank. Think of NIM as bank's profit margin on its core business, which is lending money. It's the difference between what a bank earns on its loan, which is interest income, and what it pays on deposits, interest expense. Again, you can click on I button to know the meaning. A higher NIM, ideally above 3%, generally signifies a bank's efficiency in managing its interest rates and generating profits. The formula for NIM involves dividing interest earned minus interest paid to average interest earning assets. But luckily, Ticker does the math for you. You can focus on interpreting the value and its impact on the bank's profitability. Here, we can see NIM figures for past 5 years of ICIC Bank. It has been growing and is above 3%, which is again a good sign. Our third ratio is NPA ratio. It stands for non-performing assets. They are basically loans that a bank is struggling to recover. Think of them as unpaid dues. They are a red flag, indicating a potential risk of losses. A lower NPA ratio, ideally below 2-3%, suggests the bank has good loan management practices and healthy loan portfolio. NPA is calculated by dividing non-performing assets by total loans. Here, in Ticker's ratio section, you can get the ratio for past 5 years for any bank. It should be decreasing and lower is better. There are two types of NPA ratios reported by bank. One is Gross NPA and the other one is Net NPA. Gross NPA shows total of loans which are defaulted, while Net NPA shows total minus the provisions which has been set aside. Net NPA is more important as it is the actual loss to the bank. 
In ticker, you can find gross and net NP percentage in the quarterly table for the past five quarters. Here, for ICICI Bank, we can see it is decreasing quarterly, which is a positive sign. One should also compare all the ratios with peers too to find out where does your company stand. You can do so by clicking on the peers section in navigation bar. Here, you can find peers of ICICI Bank and their ratios too. We can see that NPA ratio, which we thought is good, is actually just average. HDFC Bank, Axis Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, etc. have net NPA lower than ICICI. So, in terms of NPA, they are much better and ICICI is trying to come to their level by decreasing its NPA historically. You can find all the banking ratios and ticker and compare it with other stocks too with ease. So, till now, we discussed three important banking ratio. CASA, net interest margin and NPA ratio. CASA is generally higher the better. Net interest margin is also higher the better. NPA ratio is lower the better for any banking stock. Remember to analyze these ratios alongside other financial data available on Ticker. It will help you make more informed decisions about which banks to invest in. Don't waste time crunching numbers or finding formulas for the ratios. Just visit Ticker and get all the ratios data easily. These banking ratios won't be visible to you in other companies like TCS, Infosys, Tata Motors, Reliance, etc because it won't be relevant to their business model. We will discuss other banking ratios such as capital adequacy ratio, cost to income ratio, cost of liabilities ratio, etc. in our next video. Stay tuned for it. Till then, comment below name of the bank which has highest CASA percentage. Let me give you a hint. You can get the answer in seconds using Ticker's screener. Do like, share and subscribe to Finnoji Ticker for more such videos. Don't forget to hit the bell icon too for quick updates. Thank you.